Good morning. How about this? <laughs> I decided I wanted to make a purse and I had a small canteen gourd that would be just the right size. And this is sort of the shape and style that's been really, really kind of in style with the bloggers and on Instagram and everywhere. And I had, I had the gourd picked out and I had the interior fabric and then I painted it in a gold color. It's kind of green and gold. I added a little embellishment up at the top. And then it came time, once I had it figured out that I wanted it kind of a, a greenish, greenish gold, then I needed I needed something for a for the strap. And I had <laughs> I had this uh, it was for a curtain tie back or something like that. Really, really fancy. And it has these tassels on it. So I took two of the tassels and put them here kind of dog ear, so I hope it doesn't look like a, a Springer Spaniel. And then I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do for a class. And there's a small area to work here because the stem is right there. And so what I did was I sent a picture to some friends of mine and I asked them, which of these would you choose? And the pictures that I sent were of two different styles of latches, two different kind of decorative latches. And I just, I thought, oh, this is, this will be perfect. This is what will go, absolutely go with it. And they all said, no, it needs something more organic. It needs something more artistic. It needs something a little bit more special. Um, the hinges on the back are just the same style. And I do have beads on the bottom so that the purse can sit. They said this needed to be something a little bit fancier. So I spread out a whole bunch of old jewelry, old bits and pieces of broken jewelry, and said, do you see anything in here that would work? And this was one of the two pieces that they chose. The other was a brooch that I ended up polishing, and it was just too, too wonderful even to put on this. So the next thing was to figure out, well, how, how is this going to latch? Because this piece, I'm not sure what it was for, I think it was purchased like at a Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. I'll, I'll leave a link to something similar below, but I like the way it has a bar there, kind of like a belt detail. I took some silk cording and braided it and ran it through to the inside and just made a little loop there so that there would be something for a clasp to go through. And then I took a length of wood and I fashioned this clasp. Now that I see it on camera though, this clasp looks a little bit too much like a bullet. It has the wrong shape. So either I need to blunt this end of it so it looks more like a toggle, or I need to come up with something just a little bit different that goes more with the style of this. And I'm not quite sure yet what that will be, but I do think now that I'm looking at it on camera, I think this isn't quite, it's not quite the look I was going for. I was thinking more like a sweater pin, something of that nature, and this doesn't quite get it. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased. This is just the cutest little shape and size, and somebody is just absolutely going to love it. Oh, I stepped up the board all along here. It's the cutest little shape and size, and somebody is just going to absolutely love it. It's adorable, it's petite, uh, whatever's in it would be very protected because it is nice and hard and it was just a little bit of a fun project something useful and completely out of the ordinary and very much in style now all these little round bags are just the thing so if you have any ideas for what I should do with that I, I could use some suggestions what would look better is it just a little piece of brass um, now, what, what should I use that's a little bit rough enough that it will stop against the, the silk right here, but will look more in line with the piece? I think it's got to be something just a little bit, just a little bit smaller, perhaps. So, please uh, leave comments below. I'll leave links below to all the tools and specialty items that I used, except for this, because I've had this for like 20 years, and never knew what to do with it, but you can you can find somewhere and I can leave links to similar drapery type pieces. Like I said, it was just a 
<laughs> a big, big drapery thing. So, thanks. Okay, the more I looked at the purse, the more I thought that the gold toggle just looked like a bullet. So I took quite a lot off the end of it, made it a lot more blunt, and also painted it. It's still gold at the top, but it's more black, so it just kind of blends in. And I'm thinking I never did really show you too much of the interior, but it's all fabric. That's the inside of the knot. I'll probably tidy that up a little bit. All fabric lined and then painted. And let's see where I gouged myself earlier. And so this simply goes right over that loop. And then the toggle goes into the loop like that to secure it. And there it is. And I think the black just sort of blends in a little bit more. And I'm not sure if I showed you the feet. Aren't they cute? Screwed in. And there it is. Part of the project. I think I like it better with the with the black. I think I'll move that knot around to the back side. Hey kitty. I think I like it a lot better with the black. Just sort of blends in a bit. Oh, somebody's crying. What's to be held? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so that you don't miss any future boards. And next, um, I've got some new tools that came in, so I'm going to be working with them next. I can't wait to try some new techniques. Thanks for watching. Bye.